There are three ways to make a living in this business. Be first, be smarter, or cheat. So one for my girls, Kendra and Char. Bots and AI are shrinking call centers and boosting profits. This is from VB Live. AI-powered automation can replace human employees, and it's a win-win for everyone. You shrink the workforce, increase profit margins while leveraging the gig economy, which creates a more flexible workforce. Uber has the most active self-driving car initiative outside of Google, but they've been telling all their drivers there will be no impact to them, sells Avinash Tripathy, co-founder of HelpShift. These drivers will be out of jobs very shortly. It behooves us to be honest with our workforce and educate them to the opportunity of large-scale automation. For both company and employees, it's about whether you're going to bury your head in the sand or be an on-ramp to change, Tripathy says. And whenever a large-scale automation event has occurred and human jobs have been impacted, human beings have had to evolve and adapt. Large-scale automation benefits the top of uh, large-scale automation benefits the top line and bottom line of companies. You can't stop it; it's just going to happen. But companies need to provide avenues to the impacted employees for upscaling and retraining. Right. The impact that bots and AI will have in the contact centers will be on the outsourced operations first. In other words, all you guys that are um, on contracts or um, with uh, temp companies and stuff like that, you guys are on a chopping block, so beware. If you really look at the work in a contact center that's outsourced, it generally, it's generally a very low value work, he explains. It's something that lends itself easily to automation and companies will start shedding their outsourced agents. Once that starts to happen, companies will have to hire more highly skilled humans the tier two customer service agents or escalation specialists who understand complex problems and can solve problems. In call centers, the impact of automation in the form of bots, artificial intelligence, and automation has been massive, Tripathy says. The more bots companies build for more use cases, the more benefit they get from an ROI, return on investment standpoint, he says. Things are automated, users aren't waiting. CSAT, customer satisfaction, is high. They don't have to throw a whole bunch of humans at, a, at the customer service problem. He points to a client that conducts a little over 2.5 million messaging conversations every month and employs about 2,100 agents. In August, they introduced a customer service bot, and now 70% of conversations are handled by bots or have a bot-based component. They started the year with 2,500 agents and plan to let go of 300 more agents before the end of the year. In other words, they've already cut 400, they're getting ready to let 300 more, so they're getting ready to trim it by a third. The numbers that we're seeing basically indicate to us by some time next year, a lot of their agent workforce will not be employed with them anymore, he says. The reason they're doing bots is they want to improve CSAP and improve the cost model dramatically. The customer service industry over $1.4 trillion is spent in every year in contact centers, paying salaries and keeping up infrastructure to provide customer service. Now, all of that changes, he says, and the gig economy provides a nice model for creating a new workforce for the contact center as well as alternative paths to employment. Internet connectivity is making it so that people who are doing desk work can actually work from home in a much more flexible model. And so when contact center operations were voice-centric, people had to drive to a building that was wired for up to thousands of phones and staff those phones. Now, think of that workforce being completely untethered. Those models have huge implications on cost. Now, this is um, and this is a uh, advertising for a webinar, but this is a webinar for companies, not you. They've been planning it for a while. They're just waiting for the bots to get good enough. And with Google's duplex uh, soft AI software, 
that's with maybe one or two years away, maybe. If not, it might be more or less than that, more like six months. Because every time we talk to it, we train it. If we can take orders or order restaurants and hair appointments, it probably can take um, incoming calls for call centers. And I guess it depends on uh, what kind of merchandise or what kind of products that that particular call center is handle, handling. But we'll see. So for you ladies out there that are in customer service centers and on call centers, stuff like that, if there's training to go upscale, I think you should take it. If it's training to do something else like be an agent or something where you're actually handling um, more complex problems, I think you should take it. It might not uh, give you a whole career, but it will, it will buy you some time because the low level folks are going to get cut first. Because that's where the AI is going to start. And they're going to slowly go up scale. Uh, AIs can already replace some doctors and some nurses. They can already uh, replace some insurance adjusters. Because I've, I've seen it. I've seen it in China. I've seen it in other places. This stuff is being ch- tested all over the world. So just because it's not as fast here as someplace else, software knows no borders. Once somebody comes up with an idea, it's going to be replicated. So... With that being said, it's time to look for your parachute because you may need it. If you don't have a parachute, you better start looking for the stairs because you might be on the, the, the 10th floor and you need to get down to the first. And you don't want to do it the hard way. So if you got debt, get out of debt. Save some money. If you got hours that they're going to give you, work those hours. Don't leave nothing on the table. If it's overtime, work it. Bring in as much money as you can and save as much money as you can because Trust and believe, you never know when that, that uh, the sand's going to actually run out of that glass. And there won't be any more. So you want to collect as much of it as you can. So all those employees that don't want to work or overtime or weekends or what have you, look at them funny. Because when they get let go and they're looking for the next paycheck and there's nothing to cushion them, they're going to be sorry. Think like an ant and not like a grasshopper. Because this is not grasshopper time. Winter is coming. Winter is coming to Westeros. And normally black people don't act like it, but I think they should take heed right now. Especially you ladies, especially you ladies. A lot of these jobs that were normally handled by people, by persons, are not going to be handled anymore. So with that being said, you know, BGS has been warning you guys for two years and you guys have not been listening. It's time to take heed and listen to me. If you never listened to me before, ladies, listen to me now. This is not a joke. This ain't a drill. You know, that you've seen places where they've already cut people and they haven't yet come for the uh, medical billers or the medical insurance agencies uh, yet because they don't know what to do with you guys. But once um, they have no choice, guess what they're going to do? They're going to cut you. Capitalism is capitalism. And capitalism is a cruel taskmaster. And you want to duck the lash as long as you can. But with that, I'm going to jump off here. This is BGS out, and I will see you guys on the next one.